It is a great satisfaction to greet you and I hope you find yourself well. In today's video we will talk about the following. How to yo seduce your ex-boyfriend in 3 easy steps. Let's find out now. Maybe you just broke up, or maybe it's been years, but you're starting to wonder how to seduce your ex-boyfriend. You miss him touching you, you long to be close to him again, and you're probably wondering if it's possible to make him feel the same way. Your motives will dictate the course of action you should take, but don't worry, definitely if possible. You have plenty of tools to light that fire in his eyes, and you're about to find out what to do. Unfortunately, you most likely feel that it is now too late and that you are in the process of breaking up or have even already broken up. Fortunately for you, it is most likely still possible to seduce your ex again if you have the right mindset. We will provide you with a guide to help you get back to him. Why exactly do you want to seduce your ex-boyfriend? No doubt he has caught your attention again. You saw some of the new pictures of him on Facebook of him and you like what you see? Or maybe you just never stopped noticing him. First you will have to analyze why exactly you want to recover the relationship. A word of caution when attracting your ex through seduction. Using sexual attraction to get your ex back fast has its pros and cons, and for it to be truly effective, you need to stay in control of the situation. It's so easy to get caught up in the moment and jump at the first opportunity to sleep with your ex that comes along, but I'm about to tell you why you should avoid this at all costs. Your ex is motivated to sleep with you, yes. We're all human. You two were in a relationship together so the chemistry was already there and maybe it still is. It can always be recovered and strengthened. When you begin to work with the hope of being in a relationship again, be very careful to keep the following in mind. 1. If you want to seduce your ex-boyfriend don't become his friend with benefits from him. Being intimate with your ex and getting back in a relationship with him are two totally different things. Getting your ex back through seduction will be like playing cat and mouse, and you will be the very, very sexy little mouse who is so sexy. Hard to catch. Do you know what I mean? Seriously speaking, valuing yourself is the first step to being attractive in your ex's mind. If you are always ready to give in, to take the first step or to calm down, it will probably be too easy, or not a challenge. So most of the time, if you are trying to seduce your ex-boyfriend again and you manage to sleep with him right away, you are putting yourself in a difficult situation. Wait, isn't that what you want? No not yet. He will like to sleep with you. He's going to like it a lot, and he's also going to think it's great that it was so easy. He's going to want to do it again, and he's going to call you whenever he feels like it because hey, he's cool, right? By making it too easy for him, you're showing him that it's not that important. He has to work if he wants to be with you. 2. Be careful not to fall into the friend zone by being too friendly when seducing your ex. Male seduction can be tricky because there's a fine line between being friendly and seductive. Friendliness and seduction both involve being open and using a little physical contact, but if there isn't enough flirting present, your advances can be misconstrued. No one wants to fall into the dreaded friend zone. While it's true that this tends to happen more often to men, that doesn't mean it doesn't happen to women as well. To avoid this, you just have to make sure your flirting is noticeable. And I really mean noticeable, it is not obvious. No need to show up in a tiny miniskirt. Just don't give him the wrong impression and make him think you've come back just to be friends. 3. Don't end up doing all the work last. It's one thing to take matters into your own hands when you're trying to seduce your ex-boyfriend, but it's another thing to be the one person putting in all the effort, trying to do whatever it takes to make him like you back. Sure, you can just sit around magically waiting for him to want to come back, but you can't become undignified, and you have to let him make some headway, too. Of course, at first he depends on you, but then let him get close to you. Making him work for it is one of the most important things you can do because like I said before, if he doesn't have to try, sleeping with you won't be anything special to him. I know it doesn't sound so good, but it's true. This has nothing to do with whether your ex is a great guy or not, he's just human nature. We see the things that were easy to accomplish as less valuable than the things that presented a challenge. This is extremely important, so never forget it. I'm glad to tell you that you don't have to wander in the dark, hoping to get lucky. Take advantage of our experience and recover the person you love. Click on the description of this video and now access the following personalized guide. Subscribe and comment. A pleasure and thank you.